Oh, what? You niggas ain't know? Let's run them up. Yo, what's up out there, YouTube? Um, man, I've seen some shit on the news, man. Excuse my language, because I know it's going to be people that's watching this that, you know, that uh, really like cursing, you know, uh, or fan of you, however you want to say it. But, man, I'm from the streets, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and in the streets, though, ain't no rules. Ain't no, ain't no boundaries. As you can see, ain't, ain't no order, you know? So the way I speak, I can get two fucks about who you think, you know what I mean? Like for real, I can get, I don't give a shit because I'm expressing myself the way that I feel I need to express myself the way I feel I need to express myself to reach to a certain demographic of people. To let you know that I'm not illiterate by no means, I work with many organizations such as the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, American Medical Association. I work with a doctor that was out of Detroit, you know what I'm saying, by the name of Dr. Acton. Acton, you can Google the man. You know what I'm saying? We've been in Jet Magazines. I've been to all the Central State Union, all the black colleges in Ohio, man. I've been a lot of places just to let you know my background, man. I can speak and touch on these topics, you feel me? And right now, the shit that bothers me the most is how, you know what I'm saying, my peers and the ones, the generation younger than me, just goddamn and killing and slaughtering the shit out of each other, man. It's like, you know, I'm looking at the numbers, you know what I mean? And they like, man, uh, 40 people got shot on Chicago South Side this weekend. Then I look back two weeks before that, about 37. You know what I mean? A few months before that, about 28. Like, you add those numbers up, man. Like, god damn. That's, I mean, since 2006, people been dropping like flies, man. It's been shorties, though, man. Our young, our kids, man. Little black girls and boys, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfucker, I don't, like, like, I wish. Like I wish, like I know that this video probably only gonna reach a hundred motherfuckers, which is my friends and family, but I want y'all to share this shit with people, man. So y'all can see how passionate that I am about this, man, and how passionate you shall be about this situation. Like niggas, that's my, I'm 25 years old, man. I'm the same age Pac was when he passed away. You know what I'm saying? Pac was about that life. Y'all niggas scream, you ain't about that life, nigga. Nigga, I say nigga because y'all motherfuckers is not thinking. What do you mean about that life? About what life? Your ass don't have a life. You saying if I don't kill a man, then I ain't about that life. If I don't go out here and gang bang and put myself in a position where I would get killed, then I ain't about that life. Nigga, you, you basically saying you ain't about living. You feel me? Like, I ain't about, man, this shit is crazy, man. The slang, the music, the culture, the clothing, the homosexuality. Man, in the future, man, this is the future. Like, y'all gotta understand when we were shorties, you know, the devices and the electronics that they coming out with, this is shit that we used to play the what if game about. Like, what if we could do this? What if, what if, uh, we could all play the game? If we, I'm at my house, you at your house, and we all playing the game. Like, all of this shit that you see, it, you know, they feed off of our mentality, man. Nothing can grow without us. That's why we not gone yet, black people. You know what I'm saying? And, and my mind, my mind goes from left to right. From left, it, it, my shit, my shit is everywhere. Well, like, so when y'all listening to this and it seems like I'm jumping from subject to subject, bear with me, because I got a lot of shit to say, you know what I mean? And I felt like today was the day to start it off because I read, you know what I'm saying, some information on the news where it said, you know, some brothers had shot up a strip club, man, like 20, let off 25 shells, man, at a strip club where, you know what I mean, even though it might seem secular and provocative to most, but this is a place of business where young women come make money, provide for their children, provide for their sales, or however the case may be. You know what I'm saying? These are our women, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and the strip club was full of black women. You feel me? Sisters, man. And nine times out of ten, the motherfuckers who shot the club up was aiming at brothers and sisters. Over what? Because y'all niggas about that life, huh? Stupid motherfuckers, man. You know what I'm saying? And. Right now, man, I'm, I'm fucking angry, G. Like, you know why I'm angry? I ain't angry because this shit happening. This shit been happening. You know what I'm saying? This shit goes way back, man. Far beyond what, what the fuck we can imagine. You know what I'm saying? But my, and what I'm angry at is that ain't nobody to ride, G. Ain't nobody to fight, man. I'm 25 years old. I can't call none of my peers and say, look, G, it's time to put together this little thing, man, for the community because these niggas out here wild now. So we need to get flies. We need to get... You know what I'm saying? Posters and shit. Get out here, suit up. You know what I'm saying? Show you motherfuckers we ain't playing. So like, you know what I'm saying? Get these shorties in order. Walk kids to school, from school. You know what I'm saying? Open up motherfucking uh 
after school dinner programs and shit for cause it's kids that ain't eating, man. Like motherfuckers don't understand like all this anger and aggression that's fueled with inside of our children is due to the fact that the economy is fucked, man. Like for real, though this shit fucked up, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 four, uh, four kids in one home type. You know what I'm saying? Imagine this, G. Four kids in one home. The mother received welfare. Maybe she get five hundred in food stamps or whatever. And 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 maybe two uh you know three, four hundred dollars in cash benefits if she if she haven't exhausted all her cash benefits you know what i'm saying and you gotta feed for us just say just say it's two boys and two girls you know what i'm saying at the age of the oldest 17 you know 15 and you got 11 year old and you got a, 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 a toddler a four-year-old okay the 17 year old oldest boy imagine what he going through when his mom you know what i'm saying his mom only getting god damn it four five hundred dollars in stamps and she gotta feed all four of them you know what i'm saying she has to feed all four of them then she only get a few hundred dollars in cash benefits you know what i'm saying and that has to close all of them and pay their bills you know what i'm saying so imagine a household that's ran like that man like you know a nigga gonna be hungry you know what i'm saying a nigga gonna feel helpless because he don't have his father and he can't get the clothes and the shoes that he want or feel that he deserves a little girl, you know, that don't have a father and, and lack of income that, you know, got to go to school in the same clothes every day. Like, that shit fucks with her self-esteem. You know what I'm saying? That that makes her feel like she has no self-worth because people talks about her. You know what I'm saying? And then the behavior and the mentality of these two oldest individuals carry down to the younger individual. The younger individual are the one that tend to act out more, that tend to don't give a fuck and just rebel. They don't understand what's going on around them. They just adopt the attitude of what they see. You know what I'm saying? And... Man, my point is this, man. This shit is fucked up. You know what I'm saying? This shit is fucked up, man. People are poor. People are dying. People not giving a fuck, which is really fucked up. And like I said, man, don't don't look at this blog and be like, man, dude, he ain't talking about shit. He cursing. He ain't making no point. I am making a point because I told you before, my man goes from left to right. It scatters everywhere. You have to just bear with me. You know what I'm saying? Because everything I say has a message. It ain't, it's not necessarily what I'm saying, it's how I'm saying and how passionate I am about this shit. I'm 25 years old, you feel what I'm saying? Like, majority of the people that's my age and my generation, my peers, they don't give a fuck. We just sit back and smoke weed and talk about the shit, but ain't nobody taking action. Right now, I'm about to take action. I'm tired of playing with motherfuckers. Yes, I rap. I'm, I'm not a rapper. I'm a motherfucking poet. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm one of the ancient ones manifesting. I'm the Holy Griot, man. I'm one of the ones. That, that, that goddamn it went to the king. I tell the king story. I write the soundtrack for the king's life. You know what I'm saying? Which makes me king myself. I'm the king of myself. That's why I call myself Pharaoh. You know what I'm saying? I want to build confidence. I ain't calling myself Pharaoh on no biblical shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I seen a blog and they tell me all Pharaohs was evil. Man, you's a fucking lame. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I call myself Pharaoh to give myself confidence to make myself feel supreme because all black kings were Pharaohs. You know what I mean? Sultans, shit, shit of that nature, chiefs, Indian. I'm, I'm Native American and West African. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to share culture and bring culture to motherfuckers because that's what's lacking. Hip hop is ran by the fucking, fuck the Illuminati, man. It's not ran by no fucking Illuminati. It's ran by the Jews and the fucking Italians who just so happen to be a part of a secret organization that they call Illuminati, which means enlightened motherfuckers, Illuminaries. Baby, hold on, I gotta take this call. I love. Maybe an actress, but nothing comes easy. It takes much practice, like. Yeah, most definitely, brother. Yeah, you, you be safe out there too, man. Yeah, peace, peace, God, peace, God. Okay. Yeah, man. You know, I had to take that call, but like I was saying, man, like, you know, people. People always want to point the blame at, 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 at a certain group of my, they say, man, it's the government. You know, you even hear me screaming, fuck the government in my song. But the thing is, you got to get hip, man. You got to know who are the individuals enforcing these laws that are against you. And you have to also under, under, understand, overstand, and realize that the judicial system and the United States government are racist in their nature. From their beginning, their forefathers, the ones that implemented and set up this whole infrastructure against us, were racist, goddammit. They were slave master capitalists who saw an opportunity, you know what I'm saying, to take over a land, as many of us hustlers do, you know what I'm saying, they took over a land, they killed niggas, wiped them out, stole their goods, all of their resources, you know what I mean, enslaved their women, 
children, you feel me, brought in some other motherfuckers to do the work for them to build that great empire. You know what I mean? So basically what I'm saying, y'all gotta look at this shit from from a from a royal aspect, man. Like we were once kings, right? I don't give a fuck who you are, man. Everybody over here in this planet right now. You, you descend from King's bloodline, man. You feel me? If you wasn't a king, you was a warrior. If you wasn't a warrior, you was an inventor. If you wasn't an inventor, you know what I'm saying? You was a, a, a builder. You feel me? Like, you know, people people were uh people had special um spiritual powers, man, that they possessed, man. They they call it a gypsy or witchcraft or whatever where people had that shit in them naturally spiritually it had shit to do with no devil nothing to do with no witchcraft yo yo descendants i don't give a fuck you a melanite i don't care what you look like big nose little no i don't give a fuck you black your ancestors were great people man and that's what you niggas need to realize man your ancestors was great people man they trying to stop y'all ass from being that that, that way again you feel me and, and i ain't no i'm not I'm not a motherfucking preacher, a pastor, a imam, a motivational speaker. I'm not none of that. I don't put no title. I'm I'm a human. I'm a man. You feel me? And I'm a black man. You know what I'm saying? With a thought. You feel me? And I and, and I feel like I live amongst myself. I I want to be around other black men who think, man. Not necessarily, not necessarily saying everybody gotta be like uh Khalid Muhammad or be, you know, on some old, uh, what's the dude name with the motherfucking fro, uh, forgot the nigga name, man, but, you know, it, I'm not saying none of that, I'm not saying you have to be a dignitary or possess a PhD or none of that shit like that to, to use your brain, man, that's not what I'm saying, man, knowledge is everywhere, man, knowledge is everywhere, like, you know what I mean, you, 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 I mean, shit, I didn't gain knowledge from crackheads, like, a crackhead told me best, like, shit, you know what I'm saying? A white, you know why white boys and Mexicans are getting money? Because they ain't scared to take risks. You know why black people stay broke? Cause we scared to take risks. We scared to take chances. And then when we do, we take the wrong chances. You know what I'm saying? Instead of us getting out of our body and trying something different that, that doesn't pertain to our particular culture or background, we tend to do some dumb shit to try to make a way for ourselves instead of, you know, just, just thinking outside the box, man. That's why I say run the mug, like, run the mug, like, you have to, like, you know what I'm saying? It's important that you use your motherfucking brain, man. Like, you feel me? God, this, this is this is the most high right here. The most high. Think about the body, G. This, this is the top. This is it. You know what I'm saying? This is where it lives. And right here in the heart, man. Where the emotions, where the emotions, the spiritual realm take place at, man. You know what I mean? With your subconscious. This is your connection to the most high right here, man. He wants you to strengthen that shit. Learn everything, man. Don't, don't just learn. Don't, if, if you a Christian, learn Islam. Learn Buddhism. If you a Buddhist, learn Christianity. Learn Islam. Learn everything, man. Learn how to be a carpenter. Learn how to... If you hoop and you play basketball, that's good. But still learn some other shit. And if you don't hoop and don't play basketball, your ass need to learn. That's what I'm saying. Like, just dabble in a different things man to make yourself complete like fam you don't have to be you every everyone has a certain area where they where they skilled at where they special in but that don't mean you can't learn other shit though you know what i'm saying and and that's my point man like like i said i jump from subject to subject because it's just how my mind is sometimes you know what i'm saying but basically all i want to say man is i love the most high and i, and I know he loves us man you know what I'm saying? I know, I know it. Because if you didn't, we'd been gone, man. These motherfucking crackers got a lot of money, man. They, and they really hate your guts, man. They hate you, like, right? you know? And the reason why you hate you is because they hate you. You know, it's the Willie Lynchism, man. Like, they no longer have to be the face of racism because we out of faith. You hear it in our music? Shoot a nigga. Pop a nigga. Shoot the nigga. He ain't with the six. He can die tonight. Like, what the fuck, man? Like, why? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the shit I be talking why? Like, you know, when J.D. Kids came on the song, why? He made that shit for a reason. You know what I mean? Like, instead of motherfuckers talking, just ask questions. If you ain't ready to speak out, if you don't have the words, like, I don't really have the words. I can't go out in front. I can't go on CNN and, you know, talk to Bill O'Reilly. And all. I'm not ready for that just yet. But I'm, I'm seeking and I'm trying to find myself so I can become, you know, more, um, more patient and, and, and more politically correct so I can get the message out on a broader level. But right now, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Has, something has to be said. You know what I mean? Like, 
I'm a blog every week, man. I'm a blog every week. You feel me? The world gonna know me regardless of whether it be through music or through just giving out the message because I use my music to get out the message. You might hear me cursing, talking shit about, you know, whatever, whatever, man. But at the end of the day, if you really listen to the content, it has a message. It's gonna be out of six to out of 48 bars. You know what I'm saying? 48 bars, I guarantee you. 24 of the motherfuckers got a message every bar, man. I don't, I don't play. I don't bullshit no more, man. I ain't got time for it, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell y'all, ain't can't no rapper fuck with me. None of y'all niggas. None of you. I, I don't give a fuck if you my friend or what. You can't fuck with me. And I'm going to let that be known, too. You know what I'm saying? See how confident I that's what That's the confidence that I want every man to have. Whatever you good at, whether you play ball, whether you play chess, whether you a fucking poet, whether you a fucking biologist, a chemist, a whatever it is, man. Have that supreme confidence in yourself that no man can take what you do away from you. No man, no black man, no white man, no Chinese, no man. You feel me? Have confidence. Like I said, I jump from subject to subject. You see how I just threw that in up. But man, on that note, man, I'm out, man. You know, I just wanted to talk some shit. Feel me? And, and, and hopefully I'll reach somebody. You know, I'm just talking shit, man. This ain't no message. Uh, you know, it's a message within this message. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, man, basically, man, man, live, man. Live life, man. For real, so like, straight up. If I had an opportunity to talk to the world, that's why I tell them, man. Live your fucking life, man. According to the way you want to live it. Not the way the media tell you to live it. Not the way the religion tell you to live it. Not the way the devil tell you to live it. Live it how the fuck you want to live it. Find yourself, man. Look yourself in the mirror. Look into your eyes, man. And find your motherfucking self, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you is all that matters, man. It's all on you. You know what I'm saying? And if we, if we kill all of us, then no, it won't be no you no more. You know what I'm saying? This this is us, man. You see the black ass skin right here, this nappy ass hell. And like wool feet burn. I saw you my feet. My shit burn like brass for real. It's like describing me when they describe it, man. You know what I mean? That, that shit might fuck y'all head up. Like, think, no, I don't think I'm Jesus. I don't think I'm Jesus. I think Jesus is a metaphor of what we all are. Dig? What would Jesus do? You should do what you think Jesus would do. That's why they say that shit. What would Jesus do? They want you to think like Jesus. They want you to be all right and exact. Peace, love, truth, freedom, and justice. That's what Jesus taught. Peace, love, truth, freedom, justice. That's what Jesus taught, man. You know what I'm saying? So you need to be more like him. You know what I mean? And, and less like the shit that they try to tell you to be on TV. Less like old dog. Less like Jesus. Less like Boosie. Less like whatever the fuck ever, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't hating on my brothers and the rappers neither. I ain't hating on no rappers. Because, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker gotta take care of his family and do what he love. True his heart. You know what I'm saying? They lock Boosie up before he can get a chance to speak to the world, telling how he really feel. You know what I'm saying? Lock that man up. You know what I mean? Oh, you know, shit crazy, man, but. On that note, man, peace, y'all. Love everybody out there. One.